down to our wedding day when this goes up it should be like Tuesday of next week so we're like a week out from leaving to Mexico yeah and we're just about two weeks out from the actual day oh my gosh like it's 15 crazy. days yeah it's actually insane but Ryan is finally out of school so um, if you're new or you just didn't know Ryan actually works at a high school in the area and it just finally got out this week so it's yeah, it was a long year yeah no kidding and so finally ryan's on his summer break so he's off full time with me and doing videography this summer and just doing his um like house husband duties like the lawn and stuff <laughs> does a great job with that but we have been working like tirelessly this week and so ryan and i like we've worked this morning and it's now almost three o'clock and we are heading out to kind of take the rest of the day off we actually are going and we're on our way. Hopefully, we're doing like a walk-in to get some tattoos. Fingers crossed they can get us in. What we're wanting is really small on our fingers. So, we are very much hopeful that the place that we're going will be able to get us in really quickly. Or if we have to wait at all, we can go next door and grab a beer. I'm sure it'll be just fine. I think so too. Like I. Um, I have a finger tattoo on this hand, this little heart, and I got it with my sister and we did a walk-in. And um, truly, the, ex the whole, from like start of like signing papers to leaving was like less than 15 minutes. It was so fast oh, wow, for two of really? us. Yeah. Wow, I thought it was gonna be like at least an hour. And we wanna go get a beer at this place next door, which is called Good Apple Tap House. And it's like our favorite spot in the area. And Ryan said he looked it up and they have like an orange cream ale. Orange creamsicle sour. Oh, <laughs> orange creamsicle sour. I missed that part. Sorry, but did you say it's by Prairie? Shades. Shades. Oh my gosh. Am I? I. I have some bags under my eyes. Maybe I'm like looking a little weathered. But we'll take you guys along for the next probably couple days. <laughs> that the Winco by our house is opening. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, that's actually gonna like... Oh, that's why. The... Wait, Next cause... week? Wait, we're gonna do our Monday grocery shopping. That's gonna be insane though. I don't know. Look at this, the breasts. They're on sale. Buck 28 a pound. Watermelon maybe? That's... That's a good deal. So, it's normally a buck 99. A dollar twenty-eight for Doritos. Like when when chicken breast goes on sale, it goes on sale for a buck seventy-eight, and that's wow. cheap. A buck twenty-eight a pound. Like we can get Coca-Cola for eighty-eight cents. You guys, this is big news. A Winco by our house is actually going to change the way that we grocery shop. It's like really quick. But Ryan and I are back. We actually went and got um, our tattoos. It was we were very lucky. We went to Burn the Boats Tattoo in Meridian. 
um, and just did a walk-in and Dylan there was finishing up a tattoo and was about to leave and was like, I can do these for you guys right now if you want. I'm like, okay, cool. So we got in the chair and we got some tattoos and then we went to uh, Good Apple Tap House and got this orange creamsicle sour, which I love Good Apple and that, that beer just wasn't it, but we don't know if like, I don't know, it didn't taste right. But it wasn't yeah. like bad, it just like Shades beers are super good and it just it didn't wasn't. didn't even taste like a sour. It was, I don't know. Do you wanna show our tattoos? You see those? Boop, boop, look at that. So now we're officially tatted up, ready for our wedding in Mexico. Um, something that Ryan and I have been, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. I don't know how long, but it's been a topic of discussion. So while it was impulsive, I guess, to kind of do it today and we did a walk-in, um, we were always planning on getting it done before the wedding. Yeah, so. so, but Dylan at Burn the Boats did such a good job. Like the line work is so good. Um, me and my sister have tattoos on our th or on our pinkies, and like the line work is crazy. The difference. <laughs> um, I think this one was only like thirty bucks, though. So. I mean, I don't know, but um. Didn't you get it done on like one of those like tattoo sale days? Or no, something? we actually just walked in. It was on my graduation day. Oh. And me and my sister wanted, my sister JC wanted to get them, but we're having some booze, drinking a little bit. Um, I'm gonna make us some guac. We are making these shrimp tacos that are from, if you follow Half Baked, Half Baked Harvest on, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah on Instagram, we have been doing a lot of like recipes from there, that and then the modern proper and been loving them. So I'm gonna make some guac so we can kind of snack on that and it can sit for a little bit, get the flavors going <laughs> and Ugh. God bless. Thank and you. then we're gonna make dinner in a little bit and then yeah. take the doggy out. Yeah, once it cools down, it's like 93 degrees right now, so. The hard part about this time of year is like, we love summer, but it is really hard to get the dog out because and also he's fine, he has a huge backyard, but it's just too hot to walk him on the sidewalk, so. Well, also one of the things we didn't realize, I guess until like, we've had friends move from out of state, like the sun doesn't set here until like 9.30, 9.45 mm -hmm. during the summer, and like it's not completely dark until like 10.30 at night. I guess that that's, that's different, that's just what we're used to. Yeah, because we, we are kind of like right on a time zone. Yeah. Like the Pacific time zone's only like two hours away from us. Yeah. All right, I will show you guys my guac. I'm actually really good at making guac around. Your what? I'm really good at making guac. You're gonna Thanks. show them your what? Show them the guac. Oh, not your wop? Not my wop, no. I said I'm really good at making guac, right? Oh yeah, your guac's awesome. Oh, so Dodger, come here, come here. Dodger, come. Good morning. Morning, we're finally back together. Yeah, it's Sunday, and we just ordered ourselves some bagels, some blue scab bagels. Sorry, I forgot to shut that. Yeah. Um, because, I don't know, we just, we were laying in bed. Ryan and I slept for 12 hours last night. We were so tired, um, and I was like, we should get bagels, and then we're gonna have some champagne this morning, and um, do some wedding stuff. Like, probably write our vows this morning is the goal. I hope that like creatively the juices are flowing. I know. That this is yours, that everything. No, this is mine. Oh, okay. Yep, you're right. Yeah, Sorry. that one said turkey. Unless they Weird. labeled them wrong. No, I, I just, no, no, you're right. Because what did you, what? I got the Asiago bagel, which I actually think is exactly what I got, so. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, that's. I think I just was confused, but. Yeah, so we're gonna eat this and then start our day. Um, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thanks. Dog dad included. Um, but we spent all of like yesterday with Ryan's family for the most part. I went golfing with some friends and Ryan with his dad and brother. And then we went over to their house after and had like a pool day and then had enchiladas together. And um, then yeah, so today we're celebrating with my dad. My dad's making us spaghetti. I'm very excited about that, and I think I'm gonna eat up here. Um, you can eat down there, though. Okay. That's good. 
tasty. But yeah, we're just gonna get, our, get some food in our system because we haven't ate in so long. And I was so full after last night though. I was like insanely full, but like oh. I was full-ish. Like I didn't want to eat any more food. Is that a full chicken breast? No, it's like sliced chicken. Oh, okay, that's why I kind of assumed it'd be, but I wasn't sure. Oh. God bless. Are you ready to do some wedding stuff? Okay, so we have like some notes to our friends that we're gonna start. I kind of, I personally feel like it's a better idea to start doing like those notes versus going straight into our vows. Oh yeah, I like, like, I don't even know what the hell I wanna do for the vows. But like, I'm, I'm like- I'm so stressed about that. I am too, but I'm like, I think that we need to get our creative juices flowing with like some letters to friends and our parents and then maybe we'll feel confident in that. And a little celebratory, you know. Woo! Just a little Sunday wine. These are glasses that we got when we got engaged from Ryan's parents. I love them. They're so cute. Nice. Just right after I brush my teeth. Oh, I bet it's gonna taste so lovely for you. Cheers to wedding stuff. Good. Tastes good to me? Yeah. Okay. Yum-o. Yum-o. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, I think because we have like little gifts for our friends on our wedding day, so we have these like cute little cards. Like this is thanks for being my bridesmaid. And then I have like a maid of honor one, Ryan is best man one, groomsman, and then we have parents. And so we're just gonna write everyone notes. So then like with their gift that we got them, we can obviously have a little note inside too. I don't really feel like we have to write a ton. No, so what I have. Okay, if you're in our wedding party and you watch these, maybe don't watch the next few vlogs because I think that we're gonna be like showing kind of some stuff and I don't wanna obviously ruin the surprise. Okay, but I got these things for all my friends for like their cards. I thought it was very cute and unique and I'd never seen anything like this, but I wanted to print off photos like from my the years of friendship with people and but I wanted them to be like Polaroid style and I found this company like out in Europe that did this and so I just was able to like insert my own photos and then it came out like a Polaroid. It's like, these are my friend Darren. And so I was able to do that for all my friends and like, I'm just gonna put those in their card. So I don't know, I feel like that makes it fun and unique and adds a little extra element to it. So I just wrote Darren, so I'm gonna put hers in there. And they actually, do they even fit in the card? Oh, they perfectly fit in the card. So that's good. Cause I thought that was gonna peek out the end, so. Yeah, oh, that's so fun. We're in the process right now of doing our welcome bags and packing it all into this checked bag. <sighs> Trying to find ways to minimize how much things we're taking and space and all that jazz. Oh, like, yeah, because then we have like the stickers as well. trying to write our vows now. It's very hard. I'm not very good with words. And it's like, I feel like we've been to so many weddings that like, I feel like I just have other people's vows playing in my head. Oh yeah, we are like- It's like almost like we ruined so, it we for us. We are so jaded based on like- Of what we've seen. And so it's very hard to feel genuine when doing this. I just burped. <laughs> Um, wish us luck. I really don't know how to do this. We'll do I thought it. I'd be better. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of us getting tattoos and trying to get our lives together for the wedding. Um, we're still working on it. Hey, but we're getting there. It's getting closer and we still got a week. Yeah, we've still got some time before we have to really like start freaking out, but 
yeah, this week will be a lot of work in getting all of it done, but we'll hopefully take you through it. Fingers crossed we're good at that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.